so excited. Um, I just got home from church a little while ago, relaxed, changed my clothes, but it is time for Sunday dinner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be making my own version of chicken and biscuits. I love, um, was it Cheesecake Factory's chicken and biscuits? They are my favorite. Favorite. Every time I go to um, Cheesecake Factory, I have to get their chicken and biscuits. So, I was like, I got a craving for it. I'm going to try to make it, y'all. I don't have no recipe. This is going to be off the top just because I kind of know what they put in there. It's like mushrooms and carrots and peas and onions and obviously chicken. Um, so, let me show y'all what I got right here. I have a store-bought chicken, rotisserie chicken. Um, and I'm going to be shredding this up into my chicken and biscuits. I have some frozen peas and carrots that I'm going to use. And I have, um, some celery, carrots, and onions that I'm going to put in it. And y'all, I'm going to make this real quick, as quick as we possibly can. We're going to make this together because like I said, I don't usually, um, I usually have like a recipe, but I've never made chicken and biscuits. But I mean, I can taste things, so we're going to go with that, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is turn the oven on. We're going to use these biscuits. These biscuits is the, the kind that I like. They're Mary B's. You can find these at Walmart um, for like $3. You can change. You get 20 of them. And they're raw frozen biscuit dough. And so what I usually do is put them in the oven, bake it according to the package directions. So um, I'm going to just turn the oven on so that once that I'm done with the, the filling, then we can put those biscuits on top. Like I said, they're raw, but they're frozen. And we'll cook this in the oven um, according to the package directions. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, my hands are clean, y'all. I've already cleaned my hands, washed my hands and everything. I'm just going to start shredding up this chicken. And so basically, I'm going to just get to the chicken breast part. I'm going to cut it, get you a good knife. I am not no chef, y'all. I'm just a mom who loves to cook, okay? I'm just a mom who loves to cook. So um, can y'all see that good? Okay. So then I'm going to cut my chicken up. How's y'all Sunday going so far? Have you guys had a good Sunday? Have y'all got rest for those who have to go back to work this weekend? On Monday, rather. And so I don't have no particular way to cut it. I'm going to take the skin off as much as I possibly can. And I'm going to just cut it in, in chunks. Just like regular chicken pot pie. There's no method to my madness. You can shred it. You can cut it however you want to do it. No, I don't need you to be good. My daughter, my daughter's down here. They not even see you in your PJs, baby. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. So, I'm going to just shred it the way, cut it the way I, I would cut it any other time. And like I said, this is just regular rotisserie chicken. I'm sure you probably can use canned chicken, but I don't think it'll have as much flavor. You know what I mean? So, for me, I like it already pre-cooked and like the rotisserie of it all. Got that seasoning and stuff in there. Let me throw this part away. I'll be right back. And I have a step. Um, <laughs> I have a step um, garbage can, so I don't have to put my hands on it. So don't come for me um, when y'all see this video. But I thought it would be cool to do a live video. I have never, like I said, I haven't done it before. I thought this would be something fun. And I figured I like to talk, so it'll be just like me talking to my girlfriends if they were here. Um, actually, my girlfriend, Jamie, we used to do a um, meal prep thing every um, Sunday. We would meal prep, and um, I would give her the recipes and the ingredients to buy, and she would actually go out and get the stuff, and we would cook it together. And it's, I don't know, it's fun and give you some new ideas. Something new, something good to cook, something easy to cook. So, let me get me a little bowl, a little trash bowl. Okay. All right, I'm take the skin off of this. This is the thigh and the leg meat. Just taking the skin off of it. If y'all love comfort food for the fall, this is a delicious um recipe 
Um, like I said, I love Cheesecake Factory's chicken and biscuits. And I ain't saying it's gonna taste like Cheesecake Factory. It might taste even better, but this is my version of it. Because their biscuits are kind of sweet, and I guess if you're gonna make your own biscuits, you know, homemade, you can make them sweeter, but I don't have time because I'm a mom and I have three children and, you know, I'm, you know, trying to get my life together. So I don't have time to make fresh biscuits, but if you could, I guess I would just add a little bit more sugar to the biscuits because um, that's what the Cheesecake Factory biscuits are kind of sweet. And the biscuits that I have are more savory and buttery. And they actually, these Mary B biscuits, they actually had a butter taste in one, but the Kroger I went to didn't have that brand. So these are just the regular ones. Like I said, you just want to get all the meat off of your chicken, get it all shredded up. Um, and I'm telling you, it's going to be fire. Because I just know it is. Like I said, when you know, you know, right? <laughs> So, um, I don't know. I want y'all to comment down below if y'all like this type of content. Hey, Mr. Henry. Um, if y'all like this content, if y'all like to see people cooking, if y'all want to see me do more of my recipes, I don't know if y'all seen any of my shorts, but um, a lot of my shorts have been doing really, really good. I've been getting a lot of views, like over a thousand views, but I don't necessarily um, do the, the long videos for the content because... Um, I didn't know if that's something y'all would like for me to do. So if y'all would like for me to cook and y'all like to watch me cook, that would be great. And I would definitely start doing more of these type videos. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands. This is enough chicken for me. Let me wash my hands real quick, guys. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to turn our um, stove on. I'm going to take y'all to the... The stove, can I see it? Let me back it up. I'm gonna turn my cast iron skillet on you guys so that we can go ahead and start um, sauteing our vegetables and adding our chicken to it, okay? So like I said, for y'all that's just coming on, I'm making homemade chicken and biscuits, not chicken pot pie, chicken and biscuits, which I guess some people will consider a chicken pot pie, but I'm trying to do more of the version of Cheesecake Factory, if any of you guys like Cheesecake Factory like I do. They make um, chicken and biscuits, um, and it has like mushrooms and stuff in it. And I do have all the ingredients. Um, I got some chicken broth that I'll be using. I got some cream of mushroom soup, cream of chicken soup. Um, I have my mixed vegetables, some heavy whipping cream, butter, chicken, all my different seasonings and stuff that I'm gonna be using. And um, we're gonna go with it because this is gonna be an easy recipe. I'm not chopping up no vegetables. Now I do do that sometimes, but for this particular video, we're not gonna be doing all of that, okay? So we'll let our butter get a little hot. And while that's warming up, I'm gonna go get some garlic out of my refrigerator. Okay. Y'all, you can see I got a million things in my refrigerator, but this is the minced garlic that I usually use. Um, it's already minced for you. And I'll put that in last. But just letting this heat up a little bit. Let me turn it up some more. And we're going to get this cooking. I'm so excited. Let me know if you guys have ever had any chicken and biscuits. Have you guys had chicken and biscuits from Cheesecake Factory before? If you had, let me know if you liked it. I know I liked it. I love chicken and biscuits. It is so good, so comforting. And what is your weather like where you guys are from? I know here it's starting to get a little cool. It's been in the 50s and the 60s, which is cool because I'm in um, Grovetown, Georgia, or Augusta, Georgia is where I'm from. And it's starting to cool off because it's uh, fall. So I thought this would be a perfect, perfect fall meal to just sit back, relax, and eat our chicken and biscuits while we're enjoying the rest of our Sunday. Y'all, I'm telling you, I'm excited about it. Super, super, super excited about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the chicken to the pot. Yeah. Cause like I said, with this, with everything pre-cooked, we don't really have to do all that extra sauteing and all of that because it's already pre 
pre-seasoned, pre-cut, and everything. And I just want this chicken to get a little brown, just a little coating on it so that when we get ready to make our, um, our roux with the butter and add a little bit of flour to it, it'll have that chicken seasoned flavor a little bit from the brown bits of chicken that we got. All right, so while that's cooking, let that cook a little bit. I was thinking about what movie I want to watch. I did just watch this movie called Lou on Netflix. It was actually very, very good. I'm not going to tell y'all the gist of the movie, but I'll give you a brief synopsis. It was basically about a little girl who ends up getting kidnapped and um, a lady, an older lady who ends up helping her. But it was, it was really good because it was like, had so many twists to it that I didn't even expect it to have. I was looking like, oh my God, I didn't even think that was gonna happen at the end. It really blew my mind. So I think you guys should watch that. And it wasn't a long movie. I wanna say about an hour and a half. The movie's about an hour and a half long. But it was really good, so. Warm this chicken up, y'all. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add this mixture. This is the the celery, the carrots, and the onions. I'm gonna add this to it. I'm not gonna add a lot because it's already carrots in the um maybe about um Less than half, maybe like a fourth of the bag. Um, and if you like mushrooms, you can add, you know, fresh mushrooms or even frozen mushrooms to it. But I, since I have the cream of mushroom soup, I'm not going to add um, that many mushrooms. Now, my husband loves mushrooms, y'all, but my kids don't <laughs> like mushrooms that much. Okay, so you just want to cook this. I notice I haven't added any seasoning or anything to this yet. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add some garlic. We're gonna add garlic, we're gonna add some pepper, some black pepper, we're gonna add some salt and a little parsley. Let me go get the rest of my seasoning. Y'all, I'm back. We're going to add some parsley. I was going to add a little thyme, but I might, after I taste it, we're going to add some pepper. Ooh, that's a lot of pepper. It's all right. We're going to stir it up. <laughs> and we're going to add some salt. Let me stir that pepper up so it don't look like a big blob of Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and preheat our oven to 375. Cause once we get this all mixed up and going, y'all, it's not gonna take long for it to be done. Okay? It's not gonna take long for it to be done because basically the filling itself is already gonna be done and we're just gonna be letting the biscuits um we're just gonna be letting the biscuits cook in there, okay? So now to this, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some of my my chicken bra. Hold on, let me open this up a little bit. A little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, let me open this up a little more. And we're going to pour this in here. And I'm going for the whole thing, y'all. We're going to pour the whole thing in here. <laughs> going to pour the whole thing in here. Make sure y'all like this video and share, share, share. Okay, so we're gonna pour that whole chicken broth in there. And that's gonna be enough for now because I don't want it to be too soupy and I don't want it to be uh, too thick. So I do have another pan, 
of chicken broth if we need it. So now I'm not gonna add the whole thing of both of these. I'm just gonna do half and half because with this soup, it wants you to reduce it. Use one, um, use one can of water and one soup mix. So basically one of these and then you fill it up with water to make the juice. But since I use the chicken broth, that will be the juice that I would need for both of these, okay? So I'm gonna add half of this. <coughs> Bless me. <laughs> I'm gonna add half of this and I'm gonna do the same thing with the cream of chicken. I'm gonna turn this heat down a little bit. And y'all, the good thing about cooking it in this um, cast iron skillet is I can put this whole thing in the oven when we bake our biscuits. So this is like, this is the meal, right? You know what I'm saying? We're just gonna mix all of that goodness in. I still haven't tasted it. I'm sure it's probably gonna need more salt, but um, I just put my ingredients and stuff in first. Now we are gonna add some peas and more peas and carrots to this as well, y'all. It's already looking like that filling for chicken pot pie, don't it? Ooh, I'm excited. I am excited. Okay, so let's go ahead and taste it now and see what's it tasting like. It's tasting like chicken pot pie. <laughs> Gonna add a little more salt to it. Um, gonna add a little more garlic. And I think I will add the rest of this um, cream of mushroom. Cause I like the mushroom flavor that's coming through. Okay. I mean, you taste it. It's according to your taste buds, guys. So you taste it and see if it's, you know, to your liking. And right now, it's to my liking. Now, I know you're like, okay, so what you gonna do to thicken this up? So there's a little secret my grandmother used to show me, and you guys probably have grandmothers like mine. They probably showed you the same thing. She would just take a little flour and a little water and mix that together until it kinda got soupy, and she would just pour it in here and mix it up, and it will gradually get thick. You can also use cornstarch if that's what you like, or you can use, um, you can make a roux with the butter and the flour before you put the chicken in if you're making fresh vegetables. And then you can pour your chicken stock in it and that will also make a thickener as well. But I'm gonna do it the easy way. It's already looking good and creamy, but I am going to add some heavy cream once I add my, after I add my flour, okay? I'm gonna taste this one more time. But it's looking good, y'all. And I have to add the peas and carrots. Mm-hmm. Just a tad bit more salt. All right. And let me go get my flour and water mixture and I'll show you what I was talking about. So it's literally, I'm gonna show y'all once I pour it, just flour and water. It looks like a little pancake mix. Thinned out pancake mix. And you just add it. And then this way, cause if you try to add regular flour to it, it can make it lumpy. This way it won't be too lumpy. It'll be smooth and creamy like you like it. And this is already, like I said, kind of thick. And I know it's gonna thicken up some more in the um, oven. So, I'm gonna add a little cream to this. And that's probably about a fourth a cup of cream that I've added. Mm. 
Y'all, don't that look good already? I don't know if y'all can see that as good as I, as I got it, but it looks so good to me, honey. I'm excited. Yes, I am. I've been craving this. I've been telling my friends, I'm going to make me some chicken pot pie for Sunday's meal. And honey, I'm excited that I did that. Okay, so now we can go ahead and add the carrots and the peas. Okay, that's enough. Carrots and the peas. And don't worry, it's going to cook some more in the oven. Now, I think I kind of want to... I'm trying to debate whether I want to add some more um, chicken broth to this or I'm going to let it go, let it go. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I think I'm going to let it go. I think I'm going to let it go because I think if it gets thicker, it's still going to be good, y'all. All right. So, uh, we got that going. We're going to go ahead and put our biscuits on top. Put the biscuits on the top, okay? Like I said, these are frozen biscuits. And we're just gonna lay them on top. We're gonna let them cook on top. Separate them a little bit because they're gonna expand. This is a big old pot of chicken and biscuits, y'all. All right, that's what it's looking like. Gary, put it in the oven for baby and me. No, I'm just, <laughs> just kidding. We're gonna put this in the oven. for about 30 minutes, guys. So, I see y'all on here. How y'all doing? Hello, it's me, Jewel. How is everybody doing on this Sunday? Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. Talk back to me if you're on here. Let me know what's going on. We got, we're 22 minutes in. It doesn't even seem like it's been that long, y'all. I'm going to cook them for 22 minutes. All right, so we probably got another 20 minutes for the food to get done. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about, I'm about to go sit down and get comfortable. Hold on, let me take this off the thing while we're waiting. I am going to be doing some different content. Uh oh I got my water running. <clears throat> some different content on my, um, my YouTube channel. I want to do some fun things that you guys will be interested in. Um, so please let me know in the comment section what type of things you guys would like to see on my channel. So I plan on um, doing some organization videos, y'all, because my house, my house, my house, my house, it needs some work. I promise you, it needs some work. So um, my pantry, honey, 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 my pantry is a hot mess with a capital H. Yes, it is. Uh, it's huge. It's huge, but I need to um, get some organization stuff done. So what I plan on doing is going on Amazon. Look at my tongue. I'm all over the place. But y'all, I had some fruities. I don't know if y'all remember those little fruity candies back in the day that you used to get from the penny candy store. Honey, I had my son buy me a big old bag because he loves me. He bought it for me. And uh, I've been eating them all day. I ate them at church, talking to people, praying over people. My tongue got blue like I ate a Smurf. Honey. But anyway, back to what I was saying. What I'm going to do, y'all, we're going to do some renovation video. Not renovation, Lord have mercy. Organization. <laughs> organization videos where I'm going to organize my pantry. I'm going to organize my refrigerator, honey. I'm going to, I already started remodeling my bathroom and it's so, so, so cute. But I just need a toilet seat cover to finish that. And I'm going to do a short on that. Um, my garage. Ugh. It's a whole bunch of stuff that I need to organize and uh, get together because it, it's been a mess. But I've been working full time and and I just quit my job. Um, so I kind of got a little free time. So I'm just, um, I'm excited to do some stuff with y'all to 
cook, do lives, whatever it takes. We about to do it. We about to get this channel up, y'all, because I'm excited about what we're going to do. But I also want to do some mukbangs. I also want to do some um, travel videos. I got a couple of places that I'm getting ready to be going. I'm going back home in December. I'm going to Las Vegas in March. Um, and it could be, oh, I'm going to Chicago this month. Honey, I'm traveling just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> but I'm excited about it, and I'm going to take y'all with me. I'm going to take y'all with me. So just like I said, let me know in the comment section some things y'all want to see, some things y'all want to do. And we're going to make it happen because why not? Why not? We got one life to live and we need to live it up. It's so much negativity happening on in the world right now, y'all, that I want to bring joy, laughter, love, family. That's all this channel is about. This channel is a positive channel. It's about uplifting each other, my sisters, my brothers. Every color, every nationality, every nomination is welcome in this um in this um, video, or I'm sorry, in my channel. Um, because I love people, that's what I do. And so, uh, for those of you that might be new to my channel, I am a nurse, but I also just started me a catering company. And so I have had five events since I've started my company, um, three here recently um, that I just did. And so, it's really blessed me in that area um, that people wanna actually eat my food. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because, you know, everybody can't cook and I ain't saying I'm the best, but I know I can cook. I know my food tastes good, you know, because other people tell me it does. So I'm grateful for that. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting to do it for a long time. I actually want a food truck, y'all. And so follow me along with that journey because I'm hoping that by the end of this thing, y'all, I will have my food truck. And y'all will be on here with me as I'm doing my cooking and stuff for my food truck. I'm so excited about that. Um, I've always wanted to do that. Um, I've always wanted to do anything that involves people. I'm so excited about. Like I said, I was a nurse. I'm still, I still am a nurse, but I do it on the side now. It's not my main um, income. And so I love people, y'all. I love ministering to people. I love talking to people. Um, I just love people in general. And so this, doing the YouTube channel, I was so nervous and I was just like, what if they don't like me? What if this, what if that? You know, but I'm just like, I don't care. Who's for me is for me and who isn't, isn't. You know what I mean? And I don't I don't blame anybody for any of that. You know what I mean? If you love me, I appreciate it. And if you don't, God bless you. I still want the best for you because everybody has their own thing. Everybody has their own niche. Everybody has their own, you know, uh, way of doing things, you know, and if Jewel might not be for you. And yes, Jewel is my real name. J-E-W-E-L-L. -L -L. Not Juliana, not Julia. It's Jewel. That's my real name. And um, there was a time, since we got time waiting on this food to get done, let me tell you about the story of my name. So when I was little, I was younger in elementary school and stuff. I hated my name. I thought it was some old lady name like Jewel. Nobody named Jewel. I was the only Jewel in my whole school. Everybody else had, you know, ordinary names. Not ordinary names, but names that you would hear, you know. And I thought my name sucked. And so I was just like, I don't really care for my name. But as I got older, I felt like this is the name that God has for me. And it really embodies who I am. And I felt comfortable with that name. And I felt like God gave me that name. You know, Jewel is a name that God gave me and I'm going to rock with it. Uh, and so... That's my name, y'all. My name is Jewel. I am a nurse. I am a, a uh, I do sing. I sing at church. I love to sing. I love to worship. I love the Lord, as you guys know. I, and my shirt says, Made to Worship, if you can't see it. But it says, Made to Worship, because I love the Lord, y'all. Wouldn't have anything, anything, anything without him. And so I'm so grateful for the opportunity. So... Those that are just coming on, again, we are making chicken and biscuits. I got it in the oven cooking, y'all. Uh, once those biscuits is done, the chicken and biscuits will be ready, and we are going to eat, honey. Yes, I'm going to take so y'all can see. Oh, taste and see that them chicken and biscuits are good, I promise you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's what I have planned so far on my channel. Um, I do have a couple of videos that I'm going to be uploading. I went to Sam's the other day, and they had... Um, some good sales, and so I am going to upload that. Walmart has a lot of clearance stuff going on right now. I'm going to upload those videos. But I just kind of wanted to see what you guys want to see from me. What you guys want me to do. Um, um, me and my girlfriend, we are going to be doing some uh, prank videos, some joking videos, and it'll be on each of our channels. You know, we'll swap it out one or the other. 
But like this channel strictly is just, you know, a family channel. I actually want to do some live games. Um, I'm going to have some family game nights. Sorry about that. My husband was texting me. Um, but I'm going to have some family game nights where y'all can be there with us. I'm going to play some Taboo. And everybody knows Taboo. Taboo is a game where there are words on a card. And there is one particular word that you want your partner to guess. For instance, if it was potato, right? And so the word is potato. And I'm trying to make you guess potato. And the words that you can't say is white or vegetable or... Um, round and so I gotta try to describe a potato without saying these other words that's on the card and sometimes it's really really hard so how would I describe a potato without saying round so I would say oval because round was on it so I'll say it's oval it's something you eat um you can mash it you know and then you would say potato you know what I mean so um definitely gonna be playing that um and so that you guys can be a part of that be a part of my life I have Three children, one 18-year-old, one 10-year-old, and one about to be six-year-old on Friday. Um, I am married for you, for you guys who are new to my channel. I'm married, and I have been married to my husband for 13 years. Um, we actually got married after three months of meeting. Three months. No, I didn't get pregnant. No, I wasn't pregnant. Didn't have our first child for four years later. But... He is the love of my life. I am so, 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 so blessed. So I thank God for him. And if you want to know more about that story, there is a video um, on my page. Uh, and it talks about how we met. And I think my husband actually was doing that particular video. If y'all want to check out more about, about that. Um, but yes, we've been married for 13 years. Got married at 25. So that tells you how old I am. Mm -hmm. I just got a birthday, 39 and five. Mm -hmm. But yes, just got, had a birthday. September 19th was my birthday. And um, I'm just grateful to be here, guys. I'm totally, totally grateful to be here. Um, and just, you know, be rocking this thing out with y'all. Um, like I said, consistency is definitely key. I started this channel about a year and a half ago, and I was not consistent. In the beginning, I was. Maybe probably the first six months, I was on it. Posting, posting, posting. And then I stopped. And then COVID hit, and I posted every now and then. And like I said, being a nurse and full-time and school, it was just too much. So I really kind of stopped. Um, and so now I'm being more consistent, y'all. And in six, what, 28 days, I've gained 68 subscribers in 28 days. Now, that might not be a lot to some of y'all big YouTubers, but it's huge for me for a person who could barely get one subscriber in a week, y'all. I was barely getting one or two subscribers in a week. And now, like I said, I've gotten 68 plus subscribers in 20 days which is a lot you know that's more than one subscriber a day so i'm so grateful for y'all who's rocking with me who's supporting me um who's subscribing to my channel do you want me i appreciate y'all man i'm telling you it's a blessing it's a true blessing and i will receive it um so yeah i'm excited about this journey that we're going to be on i'm excited about what is going to happen with this channel and uh, to see, you know, how I started to where we're going to be going. Because I'm not stopping. I feel like if anybody can do it, I can. And you can too. There's nothing stopping you from doing anything you want to do but yourself. Take the naysayers, the negative people out of your life. Don't worry about what they have to say about anything. And just do it. If you want to start a channel, don't, you know, because when I first started, I was like, well, everybody cooks, everybody's this, everybody's that, you know, and I had to get out of my own head. And that's the thing, y'all, we got to get out of our own heads. If we want to make it in this social media uh, thing, we got to get out of our own heads. I mean, you can look at it, be like, you know, I'm doing this just for fun. You can look at it like, okay, if I want to be monetized, I can do it because I'm somebody, I'm special too. You know, everybody... Um, is different and everybody brings something different to the page. So just do it. Don't let nothing stop you. Keep negative people out of your lives. You know, if you got some friends who be like, girl, don't do it. Or, God, man, you don't need to do that. You ain't even got no subscribers. You only got two subscribers. You only got 20 subscribers. Keep going. Keep pushing. You know, don't take it from me. Look into some of those other um, big YouTubers. They started out with nothing either. Nobody started out with 
um, 10,000 subscribers. You know, I'm only at 800, you know, and it took me forever to get to 800, but I'm still grateful and I'm still going because I know I got what it takes and I know you do too. So if you rock it with me, you definitely gonna get encouraged. If you have a channel, put your channel down in the comment section below. Um, so that I can support you. I want to support you if you're supporting me for sure. Um, and if it's that I love, of course, I'm going to support you. Um, and even if it's not content I love, just because you love me, I'm going to support you. You know what I mean? I'm going to do what I can do because I want us all to make it. We all can make it. What is this on my shirt? Oh, makeup. Makeup. Sorry about the makeup on my shirt. But anyway, yeah, I want I want us to support each other. That's what we that's what we're called to do is support each other and to, you know, uplift each other and just make people feel good. So that's my goal. That's my aim. That's my rant. So I'm gonna have to go back over here. Let's go back over to this to this oven and see if what it's looking like. What it's looking like. Let me see. I think I can turn y'all around. This is what it's looking like. Ooh. Okay, those biscuits are cooking. We probably got another, looks like I said, another 15 minutes. Another 15 minutes. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Stay, stay, stay. <laughs> stay for the long haul. My two people that are watching, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you watching me. Um, as I'm trying to cook this food and trying to do this live for the first time, I appreciate my two. I tell you, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, with that being said, what else can we talk about? Hmm. I told you what I do. I told you where I plan on going from here. Any questions you guys have for me? Um, <laughs> my daughter is over here i would show you her but she I has and subscribe she i would show y'all my daughter but she got um PJs. she got pjs on y'all i'm like you can't be on this live with no pjs on pj and she's 10 and and she like i'm five four my baby is five two so we God. definitely gonna have to <laughs> we definitely gonna have to um put her on here honey she's a whole character she act like me she act like me i get it from my daddy y'all because he is a whole a whole character. Um, so yeah. Oh, guess what I'm gonna make next? Cause it's getting ready to be the holiday. Oh Lord, Liberty. That's Liberty. And she got PJs on too. <laughs> Even though I don't know how to do it. That's me, Lord. Have mercy. That's me. Okay, y'all. Let's see if I can do this. 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 You got to have a YouTube channel to like my channel. And you don't have no oh, yeah, YouTube. Does. Well, yeah, but she's under mine. But you can't have your own. You're only five. Um, But, yes, I am going to be making. I have a video already out of my sweet potato uh, praline sweet potato pie, which is like a caramel crust with um, pecans and sweet potatoes with cheese. Uh, cream cheese in it so but instead of making the praline sweet potato pie i am going to be making a praline sweet potato cupcake filled with cream cheese icing it's gonna be bomb 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 bomb, bomb. i promise you it's gonna be so good it's gonna be so it's gonna be stuff with a cream cheese filling not icing i'm sorry a cream cheese filling it's gonna be a sweet potato um cupcake and then on top is gonna be caramel caramel and um pecan topping i'm telling you you're gonna want that for your thanksgiving meal stop it <laughs> you're gonna want that for your thanksgiving meal it's gonna be so good just change up the desserts you know what i mean um i do have a regular sweet potato pie i also have a brown butter um chest pie on my channel that has been doing pretty good but my sweet potato praline i want to say is up to 10k so I'm guessing it's pretty good, you know, with people liking it that much. So go check it out. Check out my desserts. I have um, not only desserts, I have peach cobbler on there. My apple pie, my apple cobbler, I'm sorry, is up to 13K. People love my apple cobbler. 
Um, my peach cobbler's on there. Um, I have a lemon meringue pie, all kind of desserts. I also have my side, so I have sweet potatoes, um, my candied sweet potatoes. I have my macaroni and cheese recipe, my greens recipe. All that stuff is on there. So what I need to do is make my dressing. Now, like I said, this channel is an easy to make, delicious to eat channel. So what I usually do is, um, it, it might not be all homemade. I might, like you see, I use cream of chicken and I use cream of um, mushroom soup. So it might be stuff like that. You know what I mean? I might not always uh, do fresh mushrooms or fresh onions. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't because I, I want this channel to be quick, easy, delicious meals that you can make when you're at home and you have a family and you're like, okay, I'm tired, but let me throw something together, but it be the bomb, right? We wanna throw it together, but it be the bomb. We don't wanna throw it together and it's trash, okay? We ain't got time for that. We wanna eat good. And honey, I made me some Kool-Aid the other day and it is good. Now my daughter was like, it's sweet, sweet. It was hood sweet, but it was good. I'm telling you it was good because I haven't had no Kool-Aid y'all in a minute. I have not had no Kool-Aid in a minute. So I wanted some and y'all, I, I did it together away. Yes, I did. It was good. I mixed. The blue raspberry lemonade and the tropical punch yes i did and it was fire you hear me it was fire it was fire and it's only this much left and i'm gonna drink it with my chicken and biscuits okay so <laughs> so yeah so check out my other videos that i have um make sure you share 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 my videos um you know send it to your friends and family so they can check out some of those recipes that i have because i'm telling you it's on point i know it is and if it ain't on point, holla at your girl. Tell me. Tell me what's wrong with it. Tell me what's wrong with it. Because you ain't going to find. You will never find. <laughs> you will not find nothing wrong with it. Now, with every recipe, like I said, I do um, I do add seasoning. And I tell you an amount. But, honey, you got to taste it, baby. You got to taste it. You can't take. I mean, I put as much as I feel like I want to put in it. But I might even add more because I don't really measure like that i'll be trying to do the measurements for y'all so y'all won't be feeling no type of way but honey i i just i season it and then i taste it you know i will tell you the seasonings i might give you a slight measurement but don't come for me and be like girl it was bland it was this honey you taste it okay if it was bland add more garlic add more salt add more pepper you gotta do what you gotta do baby because if you don't then it's gonna be disgusting but i tell you if you taste and see oh taste and see it will be good i promise you that it's gonna be bomb.com you ain't gonna have no regrets you're gonna love it i promise you you're gonna love it so uh that's what i gotta say about my recipes because you know you might go on there you might taste it you might like it was bland it didn't have enough salt it didn't do this didn't do that taste it and you'll figure out what you need to do to get it right. You know what I mean? Because I, I really don't measure. I kind of just do. I kind of just do it. We all do that. You know, we be cooking. And they be like, girl, what you putting in it? And I can tell you the seasonings all day. But I can't tell you exactly how much because I had to taste it. So, so yeah. So, there's different recipes and stuff that you guys can check out on my channel. Um, there's different uh, pranks. Oh, y'all. I did a prank on my husband. I bought this fart spray from uh amazon honey when i tell you just a squirt smelled like somebody dumped the whole garbage yard in your car right so look this is what i did my mask on because i think it was during covid i, I can't yeah i think it was during it was during covid so we had our mask on so i had to make it really really potent right so what did i do i sprayed it on his mask y'all yes i did i sprayed it on his mask it was so strong that even though I just sprayed it on his mask, it felt like my nose, y'all. That's how strong it was. So we we get in the car. We gonna go to we gonna go to um we we're going to some grocery store. I think we we're going to Kroger. So I sit in the car and I'm like, put his mask on. We gonna go in the grocery store. We go ahead and put his mask on. Mind y'all, remember I just told y'all I sprayed it with the fart spray. It, it is strong, honey. He put the mask on. He was like, let's go. Like, no reaction. <laughs> like, no reaction. I was like, you don't smell nothing. Now, let me tell y'all about my husband. Honey, my husband's so sweet. Oh, yes, he is. And I ain't bragging. It's the truth. My honey is so sweet. If if, if I did stuff, even if I farted, my husband would not be like, you stunk. You know what I mean? He'll just be like, okay, you know, and, and keep it moving. So I thought maybe that's what he was doing. I was like, babe, do you smell something? He was like, a little bit. I was like, a little bit? Like, yo, ho, you, you can, I mean, I'm telling y'all, I smelt it 
and I was the passenger and it was on his mask, y'all. It was on his mask. Up his nose. He put the mask on his face and he told me he a little bit. OMG, y'all. I died. Y'all gotta watch that video. It is hilarious. I promise you. And then there's another prank video I did. So it, it was the Kool-Aid challenge. So you put Kool-Aid in a cup and you gotta take the not not Kool-Aid the juice, but Kool-Aid the powder, y'all. Kool-Aid the powder, right? So I took the Kool-Aid the powder and put it in a cup. And all three of us, me, my husband, my son, we had the cup of Kool-Aid. And so we had to keep it in our mouth and we had to swallow it and keep it in our mouth for like a minute, a minute or two, something like that. So I said, one, two, three. And then they would put it back in our, our mouth and they just like <laughs> choking, coughing. And I'm like making face like, oh, this is disgusting. And so my husband finished his first. My son couldn't even finish his. He's spitting it all out. Honey, I did like this. I was like, ah. I didn't even take it. I never, I never took the Kool-Aid. I never, I took that, but I never put it in my mouth. So I tricked them to make them think I took it. Y'all gotta watch that one too. It is hilarious because they were suffering. And me, I'm a great actor. Trust and believe. Wait till y'all see that. Y'all gonna really think that I had it. Y'all gonna really think that I had that Kool-Aid in my mouth, but I didn't. Do you think I'm about to torture myself like that? Uh, no, ma'am. I'm not about to torture myself like that. So um, it's a couple of different ones. We did a spicy challenge, like a... um. We did like the wing stop, atomic wings. We, we've done all kind of stuff. So y'all, please, 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 please go check it out. I think y'all will like it. I think it's going to be hilarious. I think y'all will enjoy watching that. You know, just to get something different done. Now, these are my earlier videos. So uh, I don't know how great the quality is. Um, but y'all, I'm recording everything on my iPhone. Even, even my older videos was on an iPhone, but I think it was like an iPhone 7. Yes, yes, and I got a new iPhone now, so it ain't the 14, it's just the 12, but I'm saying it's a newer one, and um, so the quality is a little bit better, but yeah, honey, I have, we got to do what we got to do until we get to where we want to be, right? Um, let me check this, um, biscuits one more time. Um, so y'all who just coming on, I just made some chicken and biscuits. Mm, I'm put it about another, maybe another 10 minutes. And then it should be done, y'all. Okay, I put the timer on. So, yeah, um, I made some chicken and biscuits for y'all for y'all who didn't see. So, it was chicken and biscuits. And I used Mary B. Biscuits. I used Walmart uh, rotisserie chicken that I cut up in chunks. I used frozen carrots, peas, celery, and onions. I used cream of mushroom soup cream of chicken soup. I added garlic, salt, and pepper. And that's it, y'all. Um, that's all I used. And so, oh, oh, and heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream to give it that creamy flavor. And then I also, excuse me, made a roux. I mean, made a thickener with flour and water that I just did the same flour, flame, same water. Look forward to tasting. Ah, oh, yay! So we'll hurry home so you can get some. That's my husband, y'all. Oh, the support, the support. It's the support for me. <laughs> uh, but yes, so I'm excited to see how it turns out. Y'all, I don't know. I honestly don't know. The filling tasted amazing to me. I enjoyed it, but I don't know how it's going to come out with these, with these biscuits. With these biscuits. Um, because like I said, I was trying to do the uh, Cheesecake Factory version of Chicken and Biscuits. Um, but I saw on theirs, they actually do thin uh, breasts. They do like the filet breast, the filet of breast. I'm sorry. They do a breast, a chicken breast. And it's a thin chicken breast though. And they saute it and then they still add that gravy mixture over it. Uh, and I didn't notice that. But it's too late now. We, we did what we did. Um, and so, and so, yeah, so I have... Uh, shredded my chicken up. I shredded it up like chicken pot pie. And I saw some people were using Grand's biscuits, which I like Grand's biscuits, but it won't give me that same vibe. Like I want the vibe like um, sausage gravy and biscuits. You know, you can't do no sausage gravy and biscuits with Grand's biscuits unless you're getting like the Southern style, the frozen kind, because then it'd be like the KFC type biscuits. 
but like the canned biscuits mm -mm, i can't do no sausage gravy with canned biscuits no sir i need i need the fluffy kfc type popeye type biscuit with my sausage gravy and so that's the type of thing i was going for with um these chicken and biscuits so that's why i use mary b mary b I'm telling you, those biscuits are fire. They melt in your mouth. And if you can get the butter tasting ones, honey, they even better. Um, but yes, yes, yes. We got about 10 more minutes. Oh my God, we've been in here 50 minutes. Who knew I could talk that long? <laughs> oh, my daughter said <laughs> me. Uh-uh, she can't come for me. Look, look, I'm trying to play with these different things. I'm, I'm just leaving it alone because I don't want to mess nothing up. But um, thank y'all for rocking with me so long i appreciate y'all i appreciate y'all rocking with me talk to me somebody besides my husband say hi or give me a heart or i mean i got thumbs up from my three people i appreciate the thumbs up but 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 like talk to me y'all being bashful y'all being bashful say something to me say hi or what you doing tomorrow and tomorrow i do got some things to do i need to get my nails done look at this Y'all can see my nails. Can y'all see them? You see that? It needs to be filled in, y'all. I need to get my nails filled in bad. I'm going to go with a fall color. What color should I get, guys? What color should I get on my nails? Should I get like a army green? I was thinking about like matte army green and then getting one nail like all sparkly. You know what I mean? So doing like a matte army green and then one sparkly nail. Or even like this color. You know what I mean? Just to do something different for the fall. I don't know, but I need to get my nails done tomorrow. I need to uh I need to do some I need to do some I need to clean, honey. I need to clean. Somebody come clean my house. That would be a blessing. If y'all want to bless somebody, bless me. Bless me indeed. Please bless me because I need it. <laughs> I need it. I'd be too tired, but I think. What we got to do, y'all, moms, if there's any moms watching this video right now, what we have to do is we have to do it one room at a time. Do not overwhelm yourself trying to clean the whole house in one day. Now, you can do it, honey. Trust and believe. It can be done. But if you want it to be done in excellence, if you want it to be done greatly, I would advise you to do one or even two rooms at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself when you got a big old house trying to clean the whole house. Um, but it just be like, when I get one room clean, I'd be like, oh, I want to clean this one. Then I want to clean that one. Then I want to clean that one. It's just like, it just keeps going and going and going and going. So, um, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. Um... I guess, oh, oh, what I was planning on doing, and I don't know if I should do it or not, I was going to make some mashed potatoes on the side for my chicken and biscuits, but I don't know if that would be too much. Do you think that would be too much if I did chicken and biscuits on the side? Should, I'm sorry, chicken and biscuits on the side. I'm making chicken and biscuits there in the oven, but I'm saying, do you think it would be too much if I did mashed potatoes on the side? I don't know. I was thinking about putting mashed potatoes on the side. I see what they say. They probably only want the mashed potatoes on the side. But, um, yeah. Making some chicken and biscuits for those who just came into the room. Making some homemade chicken and biscuits. Easy to make, delicious to eat. I'm definitely, at the end of this video, going to put the ingredients and everything in the description box below so that you guys can make it yourselves at your home. Um, it was very inexpensive. I think the chicken, the um, rotisserie chicken at Walmart, I'm sorry, at Kroger's. That, and I've been saying Walmart this whole time. No, it was Kroger's, guys. But the rotisserie chicken at Kroger's was like $7.29. The cans of cream of chicken and cream of mushroom were like a dollar and some change a piece. The frozen vegetables was like a dollar and a change a piece. And then the biscuits probably was the <clears throat> second most expensive thing at like $3 and some change. The heavy whipping cream was $2 and some change. It, you know, if you don't already have the heavy whipping cream at home. Um, and then like butter and, um, you know, all your seasonings you already have. So it was very, very inexpensive. Like I 
probably a total of maybe $20 to make this easy and delicious comfort food meal. And like I said, you just get you a bowl and you can put that in a bowl with your um, biscuit and just enjoy your homemade biscuits. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so savory and delicious. And like I said, I still have some of my um, Kool-Aid. I still have some of my Kool-Aid left. So I'm going to be drinking my Kool-Aid with my chicken pot pie. So hopefully you guys enjoy this recipe. If you do, please make sure you let me know by liking this video. Make sure you tell your friends, your family, everyone you know what I'm doing over here. Make sure if you're not subscribed, you hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to your girl. Please subscribe to me. Please subscribe, 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 subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell everybody. Say subscribe to Living Jewel because she's positive. She loves people. She loves to cook. And uh, she loves to make people laugh. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video so far. Um, those that are watching the recording, hopefully you stay with me this long because it is, we almost one hour in, y'all. Woo! One hour in, y'all. We are one hour. It's like 55 minutes and, well, 56 minutes now into this video. And I've been talking and talking and cooking and talking this whole time. Um, so hopefully you like this recipe and you can share it with your family for the holidays. So I'm about to go ahead and hook y'all up to the um, camera. I'm going to get my bowl out because I think it's, it's about done. So come over here with me. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Oh, me. Can you go get me a towel? Or go get me the... um. Oh, thank you guys. I didn't even, I didn't even see. I guess I missed out on all the comments. That's horrible. I didn't even know it was right there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, can you go give me um the hand, hand towel? Give me a hand towel from upstairs so I can get this out the oven. Oh, yes, we done, y'all. Ooh. Ooh, it looks so good. It looks so good. I need one more hand towel so I won't burn myself, y'all. We ain't trying to burn. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I sent that to this video to everybody in my contact. Oh, you so sweet. The support. It's the support for me. Oh, y'all. Yes, look at that. Look at that. Hold on, let me bring this camera down so y'all can see what I'm doing. Ooh, ooh, girl, ooh. Yes, yes, that looks great, if I say so myself. So let me scoop this up, honey. I want it piping hot, piping hot. Got me a bowl. Ooh, it's bubbling. Look at that. I'm bringing it in. I'm bringing it in. Ooh. I'm excited. <laughs> Let me scoop some of that out right here, right here. Let me scoop some of that out. Ooh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Oh, Lord. Maybe I should make some rice or something. I don't know what to do. Oh, no, no. Mm, mm, mm. Come on, somebody. I'm excited. Let me get me a... All right, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to check it out. Check one, check one, check one, check two. Let me see. There we go. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. Here we go. I'm going to give y'all a real deal. If it's disgusting, I'm going to say run. Run. It's so, so, so hot, y'all, because y'all know I just got it out the oven. Ooh, but it smells fine. It smells just like a chicken pot pie. <laughs> ah, still hot. Wait. 
wait. Here we go. Kevin. Come get you some. Honey. Promise you it's fire. Promise you it's fire. Yes, it is. So, 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 so good. I promise you. So, so good. It's so good. I promise you. I'm not. It's no cap. What they say, young people say, no cap. It's no cap. <laughs> it's bomb. Sorry if I blew y'all ears out. <laughs> but it's bomb. All right, y'all. This is delicious. I'm going to take one more bite. Mm. You're going to love it. You gonna love this chicken and biscuit recipe, honey. I promise you, you will. If you love chicken pot pie, honey, this is it. Guaranteed. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you tell your friends, your family, your coworkers, everybody you know what your girl Living Jewel is doing over this channel. Make sure you share. Make sure you tell your friends, everybody, that Living Jewel makes the best chicken pot pie. Come for me if you wanna. All right, I'll see you later. Peace. I don't know how to end it.